Tokyo Next Touch panel adopting ultra thin aluminum alloy frame and 7 inch competitive touch screen. Combining wired and Wi Fi network connectivity, its a versatile control panel worked with QNX network media processor to realize central control of classroom devices. Before checking its connection, let's see the backside interfaces. Then we start wired connection. We need to connect PoE port to NMP by network cable, and then connect to power supply port through 12 watt adapter. It's done. For wireless connection, only connect to power supply port through 12 watt adapter. Turn on touch panel, it will pop up a window, enter connection setting and choose corresponding NMP Wi-Fi from the Wi-Fi list to connect. That's it. When the touch panel is locked, you can do the operation on it. If you want to use this touch panel, you need to unlock it by IC card with the permission. If you use the card without permission, it will prompt this card has no permission to unlock. Long press the lock icon to lock this panel. Click light switch on touch panel. You can see the light is turned on. Same operation to the displays. Turn on the display switch. You can see two displays are powering on. Touch panel supports video switch. Now we have three displays IQ Touch A, IQ Touch B, and IQ Video C. Each display has three same HDMI input sources. HDMI 1 is IQ Video Lecture Capture System, HDMI 2 is IQ View Document Camera, and HDMI 3 is IQ Share Wireless Presentation System. Now, the input source of three displays is HDMI 1 IQ Video. On IQ Touch A, we switch HDMI 1 IQ Video to HDMI 2 IQ View. As you can see, IQ Touch A shows the shooting image of IQ View document camera. Then we back to HDMI 1 IQ Video input source. Same operation to IQ Touch B display. Then we switch to HDMI 3 IQ Share on both IQ Touch A and Touch B displays. And two displays show the homepage of IQ Share wireless presentation system. Switch on the air conditioner. You can see the air conditioner is powering on. You even can adjust the temperature, change the mode, open the swing, and so on. You can screen up and down the projection curtain. You also can stop it according to your need, just like what we show to you. For volume adjustment of speaker and microphone, we open a video first. When audience can hear the sound clear, you can turn up the sound. 
The mute function is also supported. Click mute button. The video has no sound now. Click again to unmute it. Hello, welcome to the Kinex. And this is our iPad Touch. And this is our touch panel. So I click the mute button now. So there is no sound. My voice is not okay. So I click the mute button again. So my voice back. Log in QNX console, broadcast. Select a media file to play. If it is mandatory broadcast, the prompt in broadcasting will show on the touch panel. You can't do any operations on it at this time. The touch panel can only be used after the broadcast is over, and you can stop this broadcast on QNX console. If it is not mandatory broadcast, the prompt in broadcasting has a quit button. You can do other operations by creating the broadcast. Homepage can be customized from setting homepage templates. You can drag the most commonly used module to homepage template. As you can see, I drag video switch and power control module. Then we back to homepage. The homepage is consists of video switch and power control module. Touch panel supports OTA update, just one click to update the software. And now we have already updated.